Okay. What message are you trying to communicate with this film to the viewers? Um, you know, I hope that, you know, when it comes to black, that people are left with this feeling of like, overwhelming feeling of like, I can't believe that, you know, this happens. And the intent was to remind people that it does in fact happen and it happens every day. And I hope that it starts a dialogue with how we, a dialogue of how we end the cycle of violence. Mm -hmm. um, and that it's important to talk to young men and boys at a very early age uh, how we talk about it. Because I think there's definitely an idea of manhood that's been this social construct that we need to like start redefining mm -hmm. what it means to be a man. Do you um, think that the characters had redemptive qualities watching the film and how they progress through this this time in their life in the end it seemed like one of the central characters Flacco was the one who really had a real moment where we saw a shift in his approach right. do you think the other characters had redemptive moments that we just have to be aware of when we look for them um, yeah I think it's definitely a bittersweet end because you're not quite sure you just hope that they're gonna make better choices and I think that you know, Flacco's, Flacco's kid, Jay, um, young Jay, uh, that's kind of where it starts. And he has, it's like he could maybe become Brandon or he could become Flacco and mm -hmm. Flacco might become Uncle Marlon. And Brandon, in a way, does become Flacco, the guy that he hates most. Mm -hmm. um, but for me, at, at the end, Brandon um, hits a point where, you know, he does stand up for himself, but he does put down the gun. He does throw away the gun. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, young Jay, the, the smallest, you know, man in the movie, mm -hmm. uh, the boy, I think makes the most mature decision out of everyone in the film. And so there is at least, I think, um, a hope in those, in those small choices that they will go down better, better paths. But I think that you're right that Flacco has the, the biggest emotional arc mm -hmm. as far as where he starts and where he ends. Are you concerned that half of your audience, because obviously male and female are be watching the movies, are you concerned that there aren't more images of women in the film in a positive light? Um, yeah, it was always um, on my mind conscious of while writing it where um, it was this uh, balance of like, I mean, I was trying to stay true to the world and authenticity mm -hmm. that I knew to the characters. Mm -hmm. And I was in a position of, I have to tell this story about masculinity through the lens of a 15 year old boy, right. surrounded by two 15 year old boys. Mm -hmm. And part of the, you know, how we talk about masculinity is how we talk about women. Mm -hmm. And that's part of the problem. Mm -hmm. And that's why these kids who have never had any sex or been with girls, they just talk about them that way. Mm -hmm. um, and the other side to that um, is that like the, all, all the girls in the, in the in film, although the, I knew that they had small screen time, um, w was aware that they were going to also act like boys. Because mm -hmm. um, it definitely, uh, you know, the, I always wanted them to have the last word. So like, if someone's gonna call a name, they're gonna call a name back, and they could be just as violent, like set of girls saying like, you don't hit him, you don't hit him. Right. And I remember having, a recent discussion with a girl from the south side of Chicago after a screening in, at the Magic Johnson Theater, and she said, you know, what do you think about, uh, I know that you're talking about like how violence is perpetuated with, it, with, men, with men, but what about fem with women? Mm -hmm. And I was like, what do you, well, what do you mean? I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not a woman, like, what do you, like, tell me more? And she was like, well, where I grew up, like, you could switch all the roles, all the, all the roles, like, it could, be, it could have been about three women, because three girls, because that happened to me. Like, I got jumped for stuff, and then I had to fight back. So I think it might even be this speaking to, like, the culture of violence. Mm -hmm. so, when the other, so when people leave and leave this film and take away something with them, what do you want them to take away with them after watching it? Um, I mean, I, I hope that they take away that there are ways we can start to end the cycle of violence. And it starts with kids like Young Jay and how we treat women and how we talk about what it means to be a man that's all wrapped together mm -hmm. um and i hope it starts that dialogue because i think at the same time i also wanted people to f to to be reminded that this do does happen every day right. and we can't just dis dismiss it okay. um but, yeah. because they're over there going yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but um yeah. thank you i enjoyed the film